Every time I'll show you another CW replay. <coughs> we got this piece. It looks like an interesting base, something you do not see every day. We can recharge the bottom with two baby dragons. We have to be careful because there's an enemy king and also the warden which will one shot any super war breakers. So we need to make sure the queen tanks the warden before using the war breakers. We uh, get a partial CC pull, not the best, but whatever. We might need to use a freeze because there's explodes and a uh, inferno and stuff. Heavy area damage. The tornado we've got trips pretty early, so uh, that's pretty good if it's trips early. I think the king was too close to the queen though, so. But at least it works out well because the king tanks the CC troops. Now we have our, have our hybrid coming from 7 9 o'clock. The RC was kind of placed a bit differently. Uh, I don't know, but the king ends up going in, tanking the expos and uh, taking out the eagle. We have a hybrid troops approaching town hall. We need to guard our army from from the massive damage. I think the hue was a bit early because the troops were underwater in Bertie, but yeah I think the troops were a bit a bit early because the troops would have been invincible by the warden Bertie anyway but whatever. We at least take out Scatter which is our last remaining remaining obstacle. Clean up we have the warden surviving. I made this a three star. Number one, queen charging six of quads to take out the CC and inferno and two explorers and also make pathing. And using the heat king to help as well. Number two, siege barracks ten, main army nine, using heals on warden beta where needed. And then, yeah trying to keep the main army alive and then we had the warden surviving to the end that's why it's a three star thanks for watching peace out